Welcome to this uh, short way of radio channel, and uh, we're going to tune around and have more of the uh, tuning megahertz by megahertz using the uh, Texan S2200X as a main receiver. Um, and um, hope that you enjoy these videos where I explain pretty much what you have. Some people have uh, commented that, well, you know, if you're scanning a band, there's nothing uh, to listen to or nothing on the, the video. Uh, isn't that kind of you know useless and it's not because I'm explaining what is there uh, so it doesn't mean that because you hear nothing on a specific video on a scan that there's nothing there there's actually a lot more it's just that it's not always you know depending on propagation and all sorts of uh, other things including uh, interference local interference it is something that you know changes so, um, we're going to go from 9,000 to 10,000 kilohertz in this video and explain what is out there. So, the bottom part of 9,000 kilohertz is uh, aeronautical. So, you do have a little bit of uh, maybe air traffic control, things like that you can um, listen to. Uh, there is also uh, part of the uh, frequency range that... Uh, could have some uh, marine uh, communications, uh, including, you know, like um, a, uh, the, some of the frequencies could have weather facts and stuff like that. But as we'll move on to 9300 to 10,000, uh, that's pretty much where you'll have the 31 meter international broadcast band, which is, by the way, used quite a lot. It's one of the most popular bands right now for international broadcasters. As usual, I always tune around in single sideband to um, get um, the weak signals that could be on the bands. So this enables me to, um, you know, hear any of the signals that could be out there uh, to tune around to. This is a Stanag signal, which is a, uh, for the most part, related to NATO type communications. Most of them are encrypted. So here you have a Weatherfax station. Um, I believe this station here on 9110 kilohertz ish is from Boston, Massachusetts, so sending out different marine weather charts that you can decode with apps. And here we have uh, the start of international broadcasting, so I'll put myself in AM mode. So this is WINB in Red Lion, Pennsylvania, 9265. Actually, while we're talking about it, did you know that Germany alone has... 9330 is uh, WBCQ, World's Last right Crap. In the world. Yeah, I did not know that. It is... This is WWCR. Radio Marti from the United States and Spanish towards Cuba. of uh, signals. These weaker signals often come from Asia. Radio Exterior de España or Spain. Uh, for those that wonder when it's in English, because I see a lot of people that look at my posts and my videos and say, well, you hear it in English, but I don't never hear it in English. It is Monday, 
Wednesday, Friday in English on 96.90 for North America. Not very strong, but this is uh, Radio France International to Africa. It's interesting because we say it's not very strong, but if I would be in an environment where the noise floor would be low, it would be listenable. And this is the problem we have today is a lot of the local noise is uh, not helping in receiving weaker signals. WCR or something like that um, from the United States. And here we've reached 10,000 kilohertz where at some times you can actually hear um, WWV or WWVH. One word also about one frequency here that's interesting is the uh, Russian time signal RWM from Moscow which is just below at 9996 I think this you hear it slightly maybe here there's a very slight carrier in the background um, and what's good is that if you don't have CW mode on your receiver you can tune either lower sideband 1 kilohertz higher or upper sideband 1 kilohertz lower 9995 well, enable you to uh, to hear it or you can play with the BFO the fine tune button uh, depending on what you want to try but there's definitely a slight carrier so I probably am hearing it slightly right now so these are some of the things that you can try out for um, tuning around the bands on uh, from 9000 to 10,000 kilohertz uh, this frequency range, late afternoon, evenings, are really, really good in general. So that's something also to try. For example, if I would have done the same scan an hour later than I am doing it now, probably would be even more stations would be there uh, and more signals. I uh, hope you enjoyed these videos. And um, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.